Gay Bay State running here with Mike Dion of Brookline, whose girls team won the Division One title here today over Wellesley, a good Wellesley squad. Great Mike, uh, squad. talk about this team's effort today. Three in the top 15 uh, right right away. Um, that can help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Um, I just thought it was uh, an awesome team effort. Um, they, um, they did exactly what we said we wanted to try and do, which was to put three in the top 15 and then have our next two kids um, in the top 40. And we ended up with three in the top 15, and then um, our next two were 30, 31. So um, they just did exactly what they needed to do, just like they have all season. Um, last night, I just told them that the um, race plan, the race plan was, I trust them completely, and I'm not the least bit worried about it. And the plan is just do what you guys always do. And they just said, sounds good to us. And they just went out and did it. So you're watching this race as it develops. What are you thinking at like the halfway mark? Were you thinking, all right, we're in good position right here? Or were you um, thinking it was still close at that point? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit of a warrior, but uh, I thought we looked good. Um, I saw Camille and Jordan right up front, you see it not far behind. And then we were like, by my count, like 41, 42, when they went through the thousand. And then the next time they came around, we kind of was still there. And um, the teams, I was worried about all the teams, so many good teams, um, like Cambridge and Wellesley um, and Acton Boxborough. So it was hard to count everybody. Um, but I thought we looked pretty good at the two mile. At the two mile, um, I looked, thought we looked really good. And I felt like kids were moving up a little bit. And um, then when we came through, like, I don't know, 4,000 over there, then we looked a little gassed in spots, and I started getting worried. Um, and then I'm not in good enough shape to go from uh, 4,000 to get over here and catch the 5,000. Uh, so I didn't really know what happened. So I couldn't really tell, because I was waiting for a couple, all my kids to go by before I ran over here. And so I was a little bit worried at the end. Um, but they rallied, and um, you know they just ran great today. I, just, I couldn't be more happy to be their coach and be more proud of us. And Camille leading the way today, I think sixth or seventh. Uh, I thought she was fourth. Or maybe fourth. Okay. I, I'll be yeah. honest. I, I only looked. I looked at the results. Yeah, I think we only right. went right to team results, and I saw the, start, the score, and I haven't looked at anything else. Yeah. I, I really. Um, I, I looked at the places because on that score grid, but that was it. I don't really know. Um, I think she was fourth. But a, a very good. Well. Very good race for all your girls, but yep. for her in particular, yep, I think after race. She's last fearless. week she ran well, yep. but I think yep. this she's week fearless. she went right to the front and um, never afraid, to, never afraid to, um, never afraid to suffer. She embraces it, which is great. I think that's why it makes her so tough. So you guys have been pretty consistent all season. How do you keep them even keel throughout the season? It sounds easy, but it's not. Yeah, um, I think it was easy for us because um, they're just a great team um, like in the truest sense of the word they really genuinely care about each other and they genuinely care about their teammates and they I think really enjoy each other's company and so even you know all week uh, we would end it's getting dark now so we usually end the after our end practice in the in the weight room because that's where we can stretch out and uh, I couldn't get them to leave you know it'd be like six o'clock and I'd be like and they're just sitting there like stretching and rolling and laughing and you know taking selfies and everything and they're just having a great time and so I didn't push it but eventually I was like I gotta go yeah it's like six <laughs> o'clock so um, they um, they were loose all season and they were loose last night we had a great team dinner and they talked about how much they care about each other and um, so what I what, what I said to them right before the race is I said you know this much talent and this much hard work and this much um, caring about each other, I think it's going to be pretty unbeatable. And so I think I said, you guys should feel real confident getting out there. And, and although racing's tough, they rallied and they did it. So I'm super happy for them. So Mike, does the season end this week or are they going next week to Nike? You know, we try to focus on this race. And we were a long t way back at the beginning of the season when we, we won the Kelly meet, which was like kind of a, a big meet for us. Like we weren't sure how good we were going to be. And they did really well in that race. Um, the girl said, oh, we're just going to take it one race at a time. And so that's what we've done. So um, I don't know what the plan is for postseason, to be perfectly honest. I guess we'll find out. Um, I know not everyone's going to be around because of Thanksgiving travel plans and Absolutely. stuff. So uh, I don't know what. We'll probably talk about it on Monday, maybe. Right now, we're just going to enjoy this uh, a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely uh, hold on to this one and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, if you run next week, good luck, but great job here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.